Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car and next to me is the 2014 Dodge Durango RT. Now we've driven the RTs before, but this one's different because it has the eight speed automatic transmission. And trust me, it makes for a very different ride. Here's the thing, this as tested is $51,000. Coming up next, we're gonna see if it's worth it. best part of this entire vehicle and that's the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 that puts out 360 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to the brand new 8-speed automatic transmission and it makes for a very different type of ride. This is a much more flexible vehicle than the one it replaces. With the 8-speed automatic transmission, even though it's hooked up to all-wheel drive, it gets between 14 miles per gallon city, not so good, and 22 miles per gallon highway, which is pretty good. You combine those, you've got 16 miles per gallon. Not too bad. Now, in terms of towing, 7,400 pounds. Once again, pretty damn good. So as a vehicle that's built to encompass sport, utility, and everything else, and have a little bit of masculine cojones, this baby does well. So I have the Moroni here, the sticker. And I bet you're wondering why this vehicle cost as tested $51,060. There's a very good reason for it. There are options. They optioned the hell out of this. And that's where the value of this vehicle comes in because the base price for the Durango RT all-wheel drive is $41,395. Realistically, you're never going to find one that price. You're probably going to pay with a couple options, say around $45,000, which is, considering what you get for this vehicle, pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not bad at all because you get so much for the money. If it's, oh, something like a um, a Yukon, the GMC Yukon, you're going to be paying a lot more money for those details and for those features. All right, I'm going to wave. Hello, park ranger. I'm going to drive past him and hopefully he'll leave us alone. I'm worried that he's going to bother Andre. Not because of the way Andre speaks, but the way he dresses. Anyway, in terms of an overall package for the money. I cannot think of another SUV that gives you this much driving performance, both on and off-road. We've taken one of these off-road and it did just fine for what it was. I've never made any bones about the fact that I actually like the Durango's looks. I also like the CX-9 from Mazda. I even like the way the new Ford Explorer looks. But this one to me sort of says, I'm kind of badass, just a little badass. And then to add to that, you get painted 20 inch wheels and a new front end that is a little bit more aggressive than the last front end, which was already aggressive. The rear end is also unique and new. So altogether, this is one of those vehicles that makes you look a little bit more badass than you already are. I love this vehicle, I truly do. But there are a couple of minor issues. One of which is this rotary dial for the transmission. I'm sorry, I, I just, I, I dislike it. And I pretty much dislike it on all vehicles that it comes on. Now you can get them on Jaguars, of course, and most Dodge vehicles now have this rotary thing. And I just, I don't know. I'd rather have something I can grab onto, a handle or something like that. This just doesn't feel right to me. That's a personal thing, but I know that some of you out there would agree with me. And another issue that I have is the interior color because it is painfully black. Look, this is a cool truck and it has a really well-designed interior. I like it because it's sort of a minimalist approach. It's got metal or fake metal inserts at least it doesn't have the fake wood and it just it looks awesome but at the same time with all the black and everything is black 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 i don't know it just looks like everything's like a cave you know if they added some other colors to the interior i think that this would be a much more civilized feeling vehicle it's almost like oppressed you know what i mean it's like kind of dark and dank like a dungeon <laughs> sorry but you know, I've noticed that on other vehicles in the same class, 
And at the same time, when I'm in a CX-9 and it has that nice white interior, even though this is probably a better built interior in terms of overall quality, the Mazda interior is more pleasing. And there's more. Um, I love the way it drives and I love the fact that it can get up to 22 miles per gallon on the highway. That's great. But 14 miles per gallon in a city? Whew, that is painful. And the thing is, it's not just a question of how much there is gas-wise, you know, miles per gallon. It's the discrepancy. It's the distance between 14 in the city and 22 on the highway. That's a lot. And the reason for that is because of the eight-speed automatic transmission. Look, I know that 16 miles per gallon combined is mediocre for a truck that's this large, but the reality is I think they could do a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Uh, I feel like a sardine. Open. <laughs> Please, open. Open. Come and open it. <laughs> Get me out. There it goes. Okay, I fit behind the third row, barely, but trying to trigger the switch from the inside, it didn't seem like it wanted to work. Thank God for Andre. Well, the good news is, there is a great deal of space back here, and for those of you who need it, there's a handy dandy little flashlight back here. Unfortunately, this isn't quite as big as some of the competitors, including the Tahoe and even the Explorer, but hey, at least my big ass gets back here. Okay, I'm going to say it right now. Hemis always sound really friggin' good. This sounds a lot better than the Yukon we recently tested. And it's got a little rattle after it that just is so badass. And it sounds especially good from inside the cab when you're going full out. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I give the Dodge Durango RT a buy it. I like it that much. I really, truly do. It needs help. It's got a couple of issues and it almost got a lease it, but I'll be honest with you, if I was looking for a truck like this, I can't think of a better one. For the Fast Lane Car, this is Nathan Nodlin. See you next time.